Thank you so much for that nice introduction, and I'm sorry to disappoint, but the last is not the best. They did not save the best for last. <laughs> they saved the oldest for last. <laughs> that was an and, um, and so whenever I hear uh, the Today Linda Rabbit that you, that many of you know, I think about the Linda Rabbit that I knew at 32 years old. I was well educated, two degrees. I had a wonderful family. I grew up in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. My father was an executive with the automotive industry. And I did what, you know, they expected me. I married a wealthy man. But that's what was expected of, of a woman, I'm now 64, of my generation. What they didn't expect was that he would be an undiagnosed manic depressive and that I would become a battered wife. So, uh, my uh, uh, journey to being a CEO <clears throat> was, it was certainly not because back when I was 32, I was interested in the brass ring. I was really interested in survival. I, uh, with my two, he took his um, nurse, his 21-year-old nurse, and his money offshore, and I didn't see him or his money for seven years. I, um, through the great blessings of life, got a, my fir very first job at KPMG, and uh, KPMG, Candy Duncan, saved my life. So. Um, from that moment on, I decided that, that I should always just look, look for the blessing, because there would be one. But I must tell you, in 1981, standing on the corner of 20th and K Street, uh, having never ridden a bus before in my life, with tears streaming down my face, waiting, trying to figure out it was snowing, how to get back to Tyson's Corner to my little two-bedroom apartment, having just left my 9,000-foot home, I uh, made a pledge to myself. And that pledge was that I was going to work very hard to make sure other women didn't have to go through that, uh, that ordeal. And I devoted myself to that. And I say that really most proudly. And I think that has helped make me a really wonderful CEO because everyone knows I'm a woman's woman. I love the men, but I'm a, I'm a woman's woman. So, the one thing that my family did give me, that I will forever be grateful for, was they taught me with just one sentence how to live my life. And that one sentence was, always make things better than you found them. Whatever you do, wherever you go, leave things better than you found them. So, Armed with that, I did my five years at KPMG, and then I decided to be the first woman to own a construction company in Washington. Why? <laughs> you might ask. Well, on the theory that the less you know of an opportunity, <laughs> the better it looks. Um, uh, knowing nothing about construction. <laughs> The woman who knew nothing about construction, we started this little venture. And I love when the boys always tell me, well, um, you know, all those set-asides. I can tell you there are no set-asides for women-owned general contractors. That $250 million of business we sell every year in the open market going toe-to-toe -to -toe with our male competitors. Sadly enough, uh, I started the Randon... Uh, in the construction industry in 85, I am still the only woman who owns a construction company. And that for me is really actually very sad. But I wanted to, the um, most of what I had in my remarks, everyone else has said, and they've said it more eloquently probably than I could. But there are a few things that I would like to leave you with. First of all, if you want to be a CEO, um, you have to understand that it takes a tremendous amount of energy. It takes more energy than you'll ever know. It means getting up early, going to bed late, moving the ball down the field every day, all day, and in my case, and in the women up here's case, against all odds. Every day, all day, 
morning, noon, and night, 24 hours a day. Now, that doesn't mean you can't be a wonderful wife or a wonderful mother or a wonderful friend, but back to the choices, uh, I learned that I had to devote so much of my time to, to grow the business that I couldn't also read novels, do yoga, learn to play golf. I raised two near-perfect daughters, just like everyone else. <laughs> And I love them to death, but I was a mom and a business owner, and there was really not much else in, in my mix. Not a lot of vacations. I, I still know nothing about, you know, today's culture. I have to read People magazine <laughs> so I can talk to my children and the 20-somethings in my company. It also means doing the really hard things, like these women have said. You know, anybody can do the easy things, but real leaders do the hard things. And the hard things are really, really hard. It, it's what nobody else wants to do. And, but when you do them, the sense of joy and accomplishment that you've overcome this tremendous obstacle, it is, is worth the, the psychic pain that you had to go through to get there. I did learn that you could never mistake activity for accomplishment. Just because you're really busy doesn't mean you're doing anything. The, the next thing I learned was that you really did actually have to know yourself and that you had to be honest with yourself about, I, I learned that I had to understand that I knew what I knew, I knew what I didn't know, and I didn't know what I didn't know. Because you're not going to know a lot about the people who work for you. You're going to think you know a lot about them, but you really aren't. We've talked about mistakes and how they're really blessings in disguise. They really are. We've talked about lucky breaks, and each one of us has had them. They haven't dominated our lives, but we've had lucky breaks. And I finally learned that it takes as much wisdom to listen to good uh, advice as anything else. I really try to work very hard listening to um, honest feedback because I've learned that um, not to be hurt or offended by it, but to fix the problem instead of the blame. So the last thing that I want to um, share with you is there, there were a list of questions. Um, and, but before I uh, answer a couple of those questions, there is a quote that I love, and it sounds like really platitudinous, but it's really a good quote, and it's from Mahatma Gandhi. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. <laughs> so, the question was, uh, you know, what, what do you wish you knew before you started? What, what are the things that you wish you you had known. I wish I'd known a lot more about chauvinism. I, I, I wish I'd really understood chauvinism a lot better. I wish I'd taken more psychology and sociology classes because sociology, business is really just applied sociology. It's about groups of people who move in different ways. I, I wish that um, I wish that I had learned earlier on to to feel when somebody was jealous of me because as you get really successful you're going to get people being pushing back and being really jealous and since I'm not a jealous person I I couldn't recognize it in other people and it became a it it does become a problem when you're successful and the jealousy doesn't necessarily come uh, from the women it comes from the men too and the last thing that I learned was that men were really Successful men were actually way more insecure than any of us. <laughs> Ever. No. And, and, and just work with them on their insecurities. <laughs> it would be a lot easier for all of you. Finally, um, I, I have a plug I want to put in too. I am a trustee of George Washington University. And uh, I decided that I needed to put my money where my mouth was. And I have begun a program with the International Women's Forum called On the Board. Uh, you can apply to George Washington University. We have our first class of 15 women trying to move that needle from 16% of uh, women who uh, are on, the, uh, on corporate boards to um, uh, 
help move the social needle. So this year we're starting our first class in February. It's an executive education class. It is something that I'm enormously proud of, although I don't get to choose uh, who participates, so you can't all become my new best friend. But um, if you're interested in corporate board service and you want to learn more about it, uh, you can do that through GW. Thank you.